Hi everyone. I want to go over the issue concerning uh, why we end up having a shortage of glutamine in COVID, how that negatively affects our body, and how that's causing prolonged inflammation in a number of the patients, uh, what we would call long COVID. So this little graphic shows us that um, here when we're in balance, when we're in a healthy state, the uh, you have liver, muscle, body fat, and your lungs make glutamine, okay? And you have the kidney, brain, immune system, and the intestinal tract will consume it, okay? And this line here is the amount of glutamine in the bloodstream. Now, when you get a lot of inflammation, what happens is you start consuming more than you make, and the blood levels of glutamine drops, and the vast majority of this increased consumption is in the immune system, all right? Now, what happens? Well, here is the cross section of a small intestine. Okay, this is a mouse. Um, ours looks the same, except for these villi are much shorter in a human, but otherwise it's identical. And now the barrier here is right along here. It's only one cell thick. That's what prevents leaky gut. It's a barrier that prevents things from leaking in the body, okay? And that's where damage from this glutamine deficiency occurs. That little barrier line there is represented by this barrier line here. Now, when you're healthy and you don't have bacterial overgrowth, nothing leaks through. Here, this is SIBO with the excess bacteria uh, in the small intestine that will use inulin or rifaximin. And you can see here, this leakage occurs between the cells, all right? And I forgot to mention, on this back side here, in this, in this, this layer, is 70% of the entire immune system. 70% of all the white blood cells that when they're activated, release inflammation, okay? So with leaky gut, you can activate upwards to 70% of the entire immune system, all right? Now, what happens with COVID is through this glutamine deficiency and you know it's all being consumed and most in the immune system the gut starts deteriorating and entire cells will die okay what we call apoptotic permeability and here notice this is just increased permeability or increased leaky gut this is hyperpermeability a massive amount of inflammatory stress and the way this happens is like this so this blue line is our capacity to make glutamine. It's the maximum capacity. Now, most infections like influenza and sinus infections and blah, 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 they are below this level. So we can always make enough glutamine to meet our needs, all right? What happens with COVID uniquely is the amount of inflammation is massive. It peaks and it's beyond the capacity of the body to make glutamine. The other infection that's known to, uh, that's known to do this is HIV infection. All right. So, one body's glutamine demand from uh, COVID inflammation exceeds the capacity to produce glutamine. Now, so here we have a glutamine shortage. Now those holes open up in the small intestine, and we have now the inflammation from COVID is going to go away. But now we have <clears throat> rising glutamine de uh, demand from the massive inflammation in the small intestine, all right? So we're exchanging one inflammatory state for another, and this massive leaky gut can perpetuate this high level of inflammation and the glutamine deficiency and prevent the gut from actually healing, okay? So what do we do about this? Well, we know that in other inflammatory uh, studies that what's been taught is, or what they've discovered is that um, you can significantly reduce intestinal permeability with glutamine, but the dose has got to be th more than 30 grams per day, okay? And this for, for durations of less than two weeks. Actually, it's probably four to six weeks is the best minimum time frame to do this. Now, is this helpful in COVID? Yes, 
Here's a paper talking about the effect of glutamine supplementation on inflammatory uh, oxidative stress in COVID-19 patients. Here again, so remember that last paper said you had to give 30 grams a day a total. Here they're giving 10 grams three times a day. I, I think 15 grams twice a day works fine. That's a level tablespoon for an adult. A level tablespoon of glutamine twice a day. That's 15 and 15, so it's your 30 total. And in this study, they showed uh, these are interleukin-1, tumor necrosis factor, C-reactive protein. These are all markers of inflammation in the body were significantly reduced, get this, within five days. You take that glutamine, within five days, your inflammation starts dropping. Okay? Now, I recommend four to six weeks, the minimum, and by then you can be certain the gut is healed, all that excess inflammation from the gut has been reduced, and now you'll be shifted back to where your organs can make enough glutamine to help you uh, maintain your inflammatory state, or your, your own levels of glutamine. Now, people have heard me talk about this before. There's tons of fraud in the supplement market. I mean, like, the estimates are as high as 80% of all uh, vitamins, minerals, powders, nutrient supplements are fraudulent, meaning they do not contain what's listed on the label, all right? Um, one brand that has served us very well is, a, it's a Now Foods brand. Uh, here, their sports brand is called Now Sports. I have no connection with this company. I don't have, I don't have any ownership or anything in this company. It just works really well, and it's readily available. Okay, so if you've had COVID, and you know you're wondering if you're doing well, you may have this low level of gut damage. The estimates are this might be as high as thirty percent of everybody after a case of COVID. And so, what the heck? Just take some glutamine, a tablespoon twice a day for six weeks, check the box, you fixed it if you had it. And if you do have it, most people will say, oh, in two to three weeks, I felt so different. All right. Okay, that's all for today. If you have any, uh, remember to click the uh, subscribe box and uh, I'll try to answer any questions you have in the uh, comment section below. And I'll also put references to these papers that I have here that I've been showing you. Other than that, everybody have a wonderful day. Thank you.